This is a review of the Time More Pan Coffee Grinder. They've actually got a couple of these. One is the Nano version. Uh, this is the regular. Functionally the same, the Nano is just a little bit smaller and has a slightly more collapsible arm for travel purposes. Anyway, this runs about $110. I think after tax I paid closer to $120. Shipped from China, took about a month to arrive. Uh, very impressed with the build quality. It had some nice packaging as well that I haven't kept around, but it's quite precisely machined aluminum body. So we'll take it apart and uh, note that it's got a pretty wide diameter burr. I want to say it was 37 millimeters, give or take. Uh, it clicks nicely. Not sure if you can hear that on the video or not, but it has a nice solid feel as you adjust it in and out. I find that roughly 16 to 18 clicks out from tightened all the way down is probably optimal for a lot of pour over brewing. Uh, for reference, that's a V60 or Kalita Wave in my case. I haven't tested it out at the very finest espresso settings yet, but the evenness that I get for a medium pour over friendly setting uh, has definitely been impressive, especially in light of the price. And I would add that my main point of comparison is the very well-known Baratza Encore electric grinder. I would say grind quality is roughly comparable. Uh, if anything, the time more is more consistent, at least in the middle range. And given the sharpness and the fairly wide diameter of the burr, I actually find that it's not that much slower for grinding perhaps up to two or three servings worth of coffee. Speaking of which, we can fit a fair amount in here. I think roughly 25 to 30 grams is going to fit in the hopper. And at least most of that will also fit in the catch before it gets too full up and you have to empty it. And a quick note, by the way, since I've got the top off already, uh, this lid and arm are a single piece, so do not try to separate them or you'll break it. However, this uh, wooden or actually wood looking plastic knob is magnetically attached so it collapses a little further for travel and you can arrange it something like this. And speaking of travel, I will just quickly from the cupboard up here grab the nice little sack that it came with. This is perfect if you're throwing it in your luggage or what have you. Uh, just drop it in there, cinch it down. And it's a nice heavy fabric that should keep it from getting scratched up or conversely from dinging up other things that it might be next to. Let's do a quick sample of what the grind quality looks like. I have some pretty old decaf that I don't mind uh, just wasting a little bit of. I'm going to grab a nice white ceramic dish so you can see it clearly. Alright, so this is currently set to 16 clicks out from zero, my usual setting as I said. Gonna put in, it feels like four or five grams of coffee. And now let's see the results. So I don't know how much detail is gonna come through on the camera. But overall, we've got uh, pretty solid quality here. I'll spread it out just a little bit more. I have not used any sort of sieve to get a, a more uh, precise estimate of the grind distribution and the ratio of fines that come through. There's certainly plenty that are visible, uh, you know, around here, for instance, on the edges, but I've definitely not found it detrimental to the brew quality. So bottom line, I'd say for the price and for the quality of burr that this ships with, it is awfully hard to beat. And uh, in, in my case, I was looking for something that would be at least similar quality to the Encore, but travel friendly and quiet so I don't wake up the house in the morning. And I really couldn't ask for, uh, for a lot of improvements to this grinder for the price, uh, considering that the next major steps up, like your Comandante or your, uh, your Lido grinders from Orphan are going to be closer to the $300 ballpark. So if you want the absolute best on the market, that, you know, nearly triple price might be worth it to you. But if you're happy with what an Encore produces, I think the Time More is going to be more than satisfactory. 
So anyway, hope that review was helpful. Any questions, comments, other things you'd like to see, please leave a note below. Thank you.